Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be discussing related to get minimum, get maximum, and set a limit value instructions in TIA portal. Okay. So basically, how to use this instruction? We'll be using one counter also, and then we'll be checking how to use this instructions. Right. So let us see how to use this instruction. Okay. So here if you are able to observe we are having this main instruction right so basically we can use this instruction directly also okay what we'll do is i'll just increase some more so here if you are able to observe we are increasing some more inputs so basically this main instruction will take number of values okay so basically it is taking how many values one two three four till hundred we can take it okay so basically i'll use uh, suppose we are using this five values so now this instruction will result the minimum of all okay so i am using this anno here and then we are using this instruction okay so i am giving some values for example we are giving some integer values here okay so let us give it as five okay i am giving it as 10 i am giving it as 2 i am giving it as 8 I am giving it as 3 okay so we already know that the value is 2 okay because minimum uh, of all this value is 2 so obviously the value should be 2 here okay so let us store it in some uh, integer okay so basically it will be stored in some memory double word or word right so let me create uh, so we'll be using increment uh, so basically this will be the input okay so input will be always i0.0 .0. and we here we'll be using one word okay so basically we can use one word here in order to store the value okay so whatever result will come that will be stored here so i'll be taking it as result right now what we'll do is i'll just change the data type as word okay i'm using word here and what will be the address mw0 okay so this is the address okay now what we'll do is i'll take it here i0 dot 0 okay so this is our input and these are all the uh, various inputs to this function and the result will be stored here okay so basically this will be the result okay let me download this one and take all the text okay now i am downloading this one okay after downloading let us monitor it okay so let me go in the online mode after going to online mode uh, let us monitor the logic okay so basically see here if you are able to observe it is giving it as 2 okay so it was already in the on state so if you are able to observe what was the minimum value among all these values so 5 10 2 8 3 right so what is the minimum value that is 2 okay so that is why the output produced here is 2 okay so i am just turning it off again okay so still the output will remain to itself okay now what we'll do is i'll use a maximum function here okay so let me go in the offline mode first and we'll be using a maximum function here so it will produce the maximum among all these values okay so let me download it once again okay after uh, downloading let us go into the online mode and monitor the logic right so initially this value is 2 because this input is not active so as soon as we activate this input the output here will be 10 because the maximum among all this value is 10 so let us check 
so here if you are able to observe this value has become 10 right so in this way this max instruction can be used okay so now let us use the limit instruction here okay so i am giving the limit instruction here so let us delete this one and take the limit instruction so we can take it from here also okay i'll just change it to limit okay so this is now limit instruction for me and here what we'll do is we'll be using one counter okay because we need to check the value of this input to be in the limit between maximum and minimum okay so let us see how to use okay so in this way we have taken the counter now we'll be changing the tax here okay so basically what are the tags required this will become input pulse tag it will be the pulses which we are giving to the counter okay and this will be reset will be okay so this is our result let it be result only and here will be giving reset right so this is reset so it will be i0 dot 1 okay so this is reset and the data type will be boolean okay so this will be b double ol okay right so now this is the reset and one more thing required is so here if you are able to observe we require this current value right so the current value of the counter will be taking it here so this is our show alt x will be requiring the current value of the counter current underscore value now here what we'll do is i'll change it to md memory basically this will be uh, word okay we can take it as word also so we have taken already that mw0 right so we'll be using mw2 here okay i'll give it as mw2 okay so th these all things i have already discussed why we are taking mw2 here okay and uh, the result will be here okay so i am using this tag as result result tag okay and this will the data type here will be selecting as integer and maximum value let us give uh, suppose we are giving it as 5 okay minimum value and this is 10 or uh, yeah we can take it as 10 also okay now this will be the current value and this current value only will be the value for this one okay so the current value here will be the same and here will be giving it as zero and here will be giving it as reset okay right now what we'll do is i'll download the logic okay now what is happening is here when you are uh, when you will give the pulses okay so actually this value 5 to 10 whenever this value is in the range okay then only this value will change otherwise it will be either 5 or either 10 okay so the minimum value of the result will only be in between 5 and 10 or it can be 5 or 10 okay if the value is less than 5 okay so the current value is less than 5 then it will be always the minimum value that is 5 the result will be always 5 if the value is greater than 10 then the result will only uh, always be 10 okay so basically this limit instruction will limit this value a result of this limit instruction will be it will be either in the range of 5 to 10 or either it will be 5 or 10 okay it will neither be out of this range okay so let us download it and monitor okay i am going in the online mode and monitoring the logic okay so here what we'll do is i will take some more text okay so what are the text required let me delete this one and take the all the text first and then delete the unwanted text
okay so here if you are able to observe let me reset this one okay so initial value now is zero so what is happening here if you are able to observe this value is zero okay so that's why the current value is here is zero now this value is less than five okay so the minimum value set for this limit instruction is five that's why the result is five okay now if this value is greater than five the if the current value is greater than five and less than 10 okay so this value will be changing and accordingly the result will also be changing now if the value of this current value is greater than 10 the maximum limit of this limit instruction is 10 that's why the result will also be 10 so let us observe what is going to happen okay so i am giving the first pulse so it is one which is less than five that's why the result is five because the limit max, minimum limit is five right now I am giving again. So in this way I am increasing the values. Okay. Till 5 it will be 5. Now what will happen is it will be in the range of 5 to 10. So obviously this result will be changing. Okay. So if you are able to observe this result is changing now. So it will be continuing up till 10. And then after 10 let us observe what is going to happen. Okay. In this way it has come to 10. Right. Now this result is at 10 at the moment okay now what will happen when you are giving the next pulse this current value will increase to 11 so which is greater than this maximum value so the value will still remain in the 10 position see if you are able to observe i am giving it as the 11th pulse and still the result is at 10 only because the maximum limit of this instruction is 10 so in this way this limit instruction works okay so thank you